because burned my hand. Got the uh, radiator all installed. I got it all flushed out. You can see the fins down in there. Stuff was nasty. It took probably like 100 gallons to flush this junk out. And I was using vinegar. Vinegar flushed it out. All kinds of nasty brown and black crap come out. Anyway, um, so I took this off. It's a little, uh, it's one of these cap screws right here. Took that one out because <clears throat> that's the only access to the coolant I think I got. So I have this one, that one, which I had an adapter for to go into that size. I didn't have an adapter for that size. Um, and I couldn't tee off. I don't have anything to tee off into the actual temp sensor there. And uh, the only other thing I could have done was purchased a uh, coolant hose horn, I guess you can call it. And uh, could have tapped into there, but decided nah. So got it in. It's uh, working. I think the thermostat stuck open. There is a thermostat in there. So I uh, ended up plugging a vacuum line here. Then I put a plug on this because this is exhaust vacuum. I'm assuming when the air escapes, it pulls vacuum through these tubes, through that chamber. Right in there. Full emission stuff. So right now I'm going to be wiring up uh, the fan. So we got the thermostat in there. I believe it's a 180 degree thermostat. Um, yeah, thermostat. I'm going to go ahead and wire that in. So I got the harness right here. I just got to look up how the harness goes. So this is a 40 amp, 40 amp relay. And uh, I can't remember what the what the amperage on my brake on the fuse is 30 amp 30 amp fuse so I'm probably gonna put it in here put it in here somewhere somewhere on the firewall next to all the other relays run it in there somewhere and uh, yeah probably run it in there so we have the ground wire ground wire, power wire, so the power I'll just tie into this bus right here. And then we got a blue and a black wire. So I think the blue and the black. The blue and the black wire go to the fan. And then I'm assuming this white wire will go to the thermostat switch. So, anyway, I'm going to go in, eat some lunch, and uh, come back out, and probably end up running that wiring. Pretty sure that's the way I'm going to run it, but uh, yeah, don't know. You'll just have to wait to see next video. So, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Reminder, check out my giveaway video, we're giving, we're giving away a stall bus. Quick drain, quick valve, oil drain valve, oil drain plug for your car. Pretty neat. Um, no tools after it's installed. No tools needed to do your oil change. Uh, you just unscrew a cap. You stick this thing in there. You twist it, and you drain the oil. Drain the oil into the into the drain bucket. So I'm going to be giving one of these away. All you got to do: subscribe. Two thousand subscribers. Once I hit 2,000 subscribers, be giving it away. All you got to do is go to that video, stall bus, drain plug, valve, whatever, giveaway, and uh, comment what size drain plug you need. M18 by 1.5, M12 by 1.25, M12 by 1.5, half inch by 30 or 20 or whatever it is. Um, you guys let me know in the comments. Uh, the comment on that video. So subscribe, comment on that video, what size you need, what vehicle, 
make model engine size and uh, yeah hopefully you'll win 2,000 subscribers and uh, I'll be giving that away all right guys stay tuned for the next video I'm gonna wire that fan I'll run the truck and uh, get it up to operating temperature and see if that fan kicks on all right guys thanks for watching subscribe comment do what you guys do thank you later